Vicki. Good morning. I am going to show you guys real quick how to make this little book club ornament, which I am loving. All right. Good morning, guys. Oh, I did not. Normally, I test my lighting. Let me change this up a little bit. Wow, I did not realize that was coming in there so bright. Good morning. Hi, guys. All right, I think that might be better. Normally, I remember to, to test with the camera and see the lighting, but it's early. I don't normally scope this early, so I hadn't really thought about it. Good morning, everyone. Um, that's my, uh, is that my tablecloth? No, Christmas tree. Oh, over here. Yeah, finally did it. Um, if you're clicking for hearts, they're finally putting in Christmas trees. If you hashtag Christmas, I wasn't sure when they would do it. Um, so I tried this morning. Apparently they're doing it. Yay. Sending up little Christmas trees. They're cute too. They're a little more decorative than the other things we've had in the past. So hi, my name is Mary. And um, my handle is not before seven. That is where I blog. And you can also find me on Facebook at not before seven. Um, my blog imports to Facebook. So it's a way to keep up if you want. And I've been trying to announce some periscopes, so we'll see how long that lasts. But I lead two book clubs, one for fifth and sixth grade girls and one for seventh and eighth. And tonight at my seventh and eighth grade book club, we're gonna make this little ornament book to remember our year together. So what I've done on each page is I've written the books that we read. I even fit all sh four short stories on there. Though we did have to double up in the end, I had to put two on a page. And then I thought the girls then could use the back cover to um, write all the names of the girls in the book club. So yeah, I loved this. What a fantastic memory of their year together. The book clubs have been really successful, so I think the girls are, are really going to enjoy making this. It was an idea I found online on YouTube, but I've modified it a little to make it a little easier. So what you will need to do this is cardstock, some sort of embroidery th floss or ribbon or string, whatever you have around the house for the tie, some fine tip sharpies, a ruler, pencil and something to cut your paper with and then tape and glue and scissors. I will show you as quickly as I can this morning how to do it. So once you pick the color that you're going to use of your cardstock, I use green, you're going to take the long side, the 11 inch side, and you're going to cut a one and a half inch strip. So this is my one and a half inch strip. It's one and a half across, it's still 11 down. And then you're gonna take your ruler. I've already made the marks, so let me line them up here. And you are going to line up your ruler and you're gonna make little marks at the inch marks for eight inches. So at one, at, sorry, there's my little marks, three, four, all the way down to number eight. That's your last mark. Then comes kind of the tricky part that you need to do. You're gonna fold it. I started by folding back. I don't think it really matters. Right on the dot. And this is where it becomes hard. The first time I did it, I didn't keep these even enough. So now once I make that first fold, I actually pay less attention to the dots. I kind of just keep them as a guideline and I more just try to line up these pages as I'm folding, because these are your book pages. So you're gonna to wanna to keep them nice and even. So if I notice that I'm way in front of or way behind a dot, then um, I would keep that in mind and see if I'm making my pages too long. But you're just gonna keep going, folding these back and forth. Like I said, I probably could get away with making the first dot only because then I'm less concerned about the dots and more concerned with keeping this even so you can see how nice and even those are if you don't keep them even the first little ornament I made was not successful <laughs> I mean it worked but it, it just looked funny 
um, because I was trying to fold on the dots more than I was trying to keep the pages even. So you can see that I'm not, I'm seeing that I'm not quite on a dot, so I'm trying to make this page a little longer. But you can see that my dot is now a little lower than where I'm folding. But that's okay, because as long as my pages are even, that's really what I'm concerned about. So I think I have them all. Yeah, that at least reminds you where to end. The last dot is there. So here it is. And then what you're going to do with this extra? Yeah, that, those are my kids. Hello, Kaylee. I like the Christmas trees too. And then you're going to fold the extra around. This is the, the cover of your book. You're just folding it right around. And you're going to take this pencil and you're going to run it along this end because this creates the spine of your book. So see how now it has like a nice spine to it. It's a little straighter. You can also run it along the edge of the table or whatever works to make it nice and straight. And then with this excess, nothing really fancy here. You're just going to cut it. So line it up and then cut this. Yes, you will get to make one tonight. So now you have your book. But here's what I've discovered the easiest way to then doing the last part. It's still kind of flimsy. See, it's like the book pages in the cover. You're going to open it up, and here's where you're going to stick your ornament tie. Okay? And once you get it in there on the spine, let's see. Okay, so I've got it tucked down there in the spine. I just taped it. Nothing fancy, just a little piece of tape. Of course, I've done it a little long, so I'm going to trim it. But just tape in your ornament. And then when you come back around, the reason that I have one less page than the sample on YouTube is I then quickly glued the back cover to this back page, and it makes it just a little more sturdy. Okay, come on, glue. There we go. So. Put a little glue on the back page, tuck this guy around. Now you have a much sturdier book. It's gonna hang nice, and it's gonna stay in. So there it is. And then all you have to do is take your fine tip Sharpies and go ahead and write in your book. I can't even find my example where I wrote. Oh, here we go. And go ahead and write whatever you would like to decorate your book. Now for me, I wrote Mary's Book Club. It's actually called our Boomerang Book Club. Um, but the girls I figured could write Kaya's Book Club or Kaylee's Book Club and kind of remember that it was their book club because... Um, my younger daughter has a book club too, and they didn't do this in December. Um, they met a little earlier, and they had a very fantastic, elaborate setup for Poppy with a wonderful craft. Okay, I'll be right there. So they didn't get to do this one, but I'm thinking of having my younger daughter make one too, and she could write Trisha's book club on it, so they would each have their little memory. So that's how you do it. That's all I wanted to show you guys real quick this morning. I thought it was a fantastic idea. If you have a book club or um, just even a favorite book and you want to make a little ornament of it, I thought they were really cute gifts for anyone who um, even just had a favorite book that they'd like to hang on their tree. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for the hearts and Christmas trees. Very fun to see. And I will be scoping again today. Oh, you could. You could put quotes in the book. I did originally think that, Kaylee. Great idea. You could put quotes from the book in there, too. Um, thanks for inviting followers all Aldria, I am actually um, finished, but you can watch the replay and make this cute little book ornament where you can put your favorite book with quotes or titles from a book club. And I will see you guys at either 3 or 4 o'clock this afternoon. I'm going to do my book club question and answer. But right now, I'm going to go see a little Pokemon action in the next room. Bye, guys. Ah! It's notifications, not stop broadcast. Oh, and I've learned to flip. If you flip your camera, it will not freeze on your face.